All right, we're on chapter three, expenses, and on step two. In the expenses worksheet, and here we are in expenses, calculate a row total for each expense item. So we've got a row total right here, our annual total. And do it in the range F5 to F9. And let's start with that. So what we're looking to do is have a sum. We want to add up the sum of this row. So we can go equal, type the word sum, hit a parentheses, and then identify the cells we want to sum. We want to sell sum cell B5 to E5. And then we go shift and put a parentheses around that. Now, once we've done that, we can press the Enter key and we will have identified that row's sum. Now, if we want that row to come all the way down the column and keep calculating machinery and equipment and material and supplies, we can grab the corner fill handle and hold our mouse down and pull down and that formula will automatically calculate all the way down. Just like we did the sum total, the annual totals in, with a sum function, we can also come down here and do our co column totals. It says calculate column totals in each quarter. So right here we want to go with equal signs first and say sum. I'm going to do an open parentheses which is shift and nine. And then I'm going to do the range from B5 to B9. Once I've done that, I can go Shift and 0, which gives me a close parentheses. And then I have calculated the total by quarter for quarter 1. Once I do that, I can click back in this cell, use my autofill handle, and you actually can go to the right and do all the column totals there as well. Great job for completing Step two. Now in step three, it's asking us to go in cell G5, and I went ahead and highlighted that for you so you know where we were headed. Construct a formula to calculate the percent total. Okay, so we're going to go equals, and it says the percent total by dividing the annual total for salaries and here's our annual total, so we just click cell F5 and divide that by our annual total for totals by quarter. So that would be F10 totals by quarter down here. Now, we want our salary to keep calculating down this column, okay? But we don't want another annual total than this column. So we are actually going to need to come back up here to F10, highlight it, and hit the F4 key. And by doing that, you'll see we've got dollar signs before our F column and dollar sign before our 10 cell. So we'll always go to that annual total and look at our percent of totals and calculate that. Uh, once we hit enter, um, we have a percent total. It's not in percent format yet, but we can go ahead and pull that auto column all the way down through cell G9. Now it's asking us to format the cell references in percent style. So I'm going to highlight cells G5 to G9. I'll come up to the Home tab and then over to the Number Panels. At the Number Panels, I can click down here to Percentage Style. And you'll notice that we end up with a decimal and two decimal places along with the percentage um, symbol. It then says format them in the center, so we do want to come to the alignment and hit the center. 
and fill the formula down to G9, which we already did. And that's the end of step three.